Hi, this is James Myers, and this is my extra credit assignment for art history. Um, architectural photography is, to many, a sort of pseudo-art. A lot of people see it as just uh, using someone else's work to fit your own vision, while others will simply lump it in with real estate photography and advertisement. Uh, but the subtleties of the art do not always lie within the photographer's artistic abilities, but within their ability to make a seemingly everyday structure look truly unique. Uh, one of my favorite architectural photographers is the German-born Thomas Holtkotter. He was fortunate enough to come up in an area with a rich architectural history, and he found an appreciation for the profession at an early age. Um, considering himself to be an architect by trade, he, uh, the, he found architectural photography uh, to be a natural shift for him. And uh, now he shoots all over the world, and he's had his work published in many international trade journals. Holtkotter specializes in abstract architecture and strives to find the most unique vantage points on location. He rarely shoots images of an entire structure. He focuses on unique elements of its construction and tries to make a completely new image using exaggerated focus and unnatural perspectives. Uh, sometimes the image he wants is created digitally. Uh, using advanced cropping and picture editing techniques, he can offer views of a structure that cannot be seen with the eyes alone. Um, he will occasionally use people in his photographs to emphasize scale or function, and he's known for blurring the people's images against a very clear and prominent surrounding, usually an abstract uh, surrounding, and it keeps the viewer focused on the structure uh, rather than the models. Uh, Holtkotter says he is still searching for the most challenging locations he can find, and his personal wish lists include areas such as Battleship Island in Japan and Angkor Wat, uh, which is the largest Hindu temple in Cambodia. Uh, and He says he generally prefers isolated and sometimes abandoned areas such as these. Um, I believe photographers uh, such as Thomas Holtkotter are able to see the life within inanimate structures that the average eye would never notice, and I think we're fortunate to have such graphic artists to document a more interesting version of our history that we'll be able to look back on with astonishment for the rest of time.